Kamala Harris did this. This, this is this is what he's talking about with the neoliberal nonsense. Straight up from Kamala Harris. I wish I wish Putin were lying. That's all I can say. This is in regards to hurricane relief from Hurricane Ian, where people have, you know, some people have had their homes devastated. There's been people who lost their lives. At last I saw 21 people um, indirectly or directly associated with the hurricane. And this is our vice president. It is our um, lowest income communities and our communities of color that are most impacted by these extreme conditions and and impacted by by issues that are not of their own making and, and so women. we absolutely and so we have to address this in a way that is about giving resources based on equity understanding that we we fight for equality but we also need to fight for equity understanding not everyone starts out at the same place and if we want people to be in an equal place sometimes we have to take into account those disparities um, and and do that work. What what is what is, is what is she talking about? You can see it on her face. She doesn't believe it. <laughs> like just look at her face. Is this coming through? Let me make sure this is coming through. Look at her face. She does not believe a word she's saying. That's why she's making. That's why her face looks like so awkward. Look at this. It's that's just, that's not norm. That's not how normal people look. Like when you're having a real conversation or like a real, like you ever seen Carrie Lake look like that? I never seen, you ever seen Marjorie Taylor Greene look like that? I never seen Marjorie Taylor Greene look like this. Never. I see Amy Klobuchar. I see Chuck Schumer. I see Mitch McConnell, Kevin McCarthy. I see them all look like this. They, they, they think they're good liars, but they're not as good as you think or they think. Look at that. Her face. What, is, what kind of facial expressions are those? It's like she's cringing as she's saying this. And then she's like, okay, let me nod so you all nod. And these baby seals clap to this nonsense. She's basically saying, oh, we've got to do federal relief. And I don't think she meant it in that that's what was going to happen in the response to Ian. But when you've got people who are scared, like their homes are all destroyed and messed up, and they're like, when is help going to come from FEMA? And, and you hear your vice president say this. It's about giving resources based on equity, understanding that we, we fight for equality, but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. And, and if we want people to be in an equal place, sometimes we have to take into account those disparities. So that so people were genuinely like not not political people like people like they don't know what's happening. They they saw that and there's people who aren't following the stuff like you and I that for me that's no surprise. We saw some of that in the pandemic. We saw it in Texas in a red state where they said, "Hey, you don't get to do this because you're not this." And Minnesota as well. And so I'm not surprised by it at all, but then Christina Peshaw had to respond. She not not in like a clapback way. She had to respond in a like, you know, let's get the right accurate information out their way. This is false. VP's rhetoric is causing undue panic and must be clarified. FEMA individual assist assistance is already available to all Floridians impacted by Hurricane Ian, regardless of race or background. If you need assistance, visit here, call here. So she had to literally respond to it. So you bring that back to what, now let me read that paragraph again from Putin. That's just one example. We've got million, we got examples after, I have a whole channel with examples. I had to do a whole different channel because I don't want this channel to be nothing but examples of racism from these, these clowns. So you go back to Putin and he says, what if not racism? So basically he's saying that the that basically Kamala Harris, my impression that Kamala Harris in this dogmatic conviction that you just heard from her of equity is racism. See, what if not racism is the West dogmatic conviction that its civilization and neoliberal culture is an indisputable model for the entire world to follow. You're either with us or against us. It even sounds strange.